yes, this was a project for duty design as well. This was an exercise that we got graded on. Um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of cyanotypes or something called nature print, um, or if you've ever used a camera obscura, then you would know that um, images are just the shadows um, being like put into the picture, like the the paper is a color and then you put light on it and it'll just it'll record like the shadows left and then when you put it in water it'll flip and you will get this image um so this is just a paper that when you put it in the sun it will develop and anything where there's a shadow or a dark spot once you put it in water it'll turn white i don't know if that makes any sense but so this is what i had to do i had to like put um this was a leaf this is leaves, um, this is flowers, and then these three are markers. I like drew on it with marker on a piece of paper and then put it on top and then it like created this design. But I processed all of these for a minute and 20 seconds and then over here it tells you what it is. Um, small leaves, leaves, white flowers, marker swirls, marker circles, and a marker grid. So, these ones were pretty cool. like this project I like did it outside in the outdoor classroom which I had never used before so I was like I looked really cool and artsy out there <laughs> next I have the same thing but it's the mistakes that I made so this one nothing showed up and then I put it on the ground and it got all weird and stuff so that one didn't work um, this one is my hand but I didn't really account for the shadow that my like when you go like this see the shadow my hands leaving I didn't account for the shadow of my hand not only my hand so it makes my hand look really fat and like kind of weird but yeah so those were two those two things next this is my figure ground lesson on September 22nd at 8 a.m. apparently I felt like writing this down but the lesson was to make you know this 8 by 10 box here this might be smaller um, I don't really know but we were cutting out these just random shapes and then putting them on the page to create a sense of balance and like unimportance between the white and the black so I tried to make it so that the white um, is like water flowing through the rocks I feel like that makes it feel more important with the background and the light but yes yeah, so we did and then, and then I did it again. I feel like this one is a little bit more balanced, but I like that project. And then we had to cut these shapes out of the white, or out of the black, and then flip it out so that the white and the black were mirroring each other. But this was really cool. I like this.
has kind of like this one feels more organized and bold to me than like rigid. Um, this one just kind of feels like maybe out of place and this one isn't like confusing and chaotic enough for me. So this one I felt was the most rigid. Um, but I feel like this could also go with maybe cluttered Shape and in order. So, yeah, but there's 
this is just for each person. I wrote notes about them and everything. I wrote for me and then I wrote people love it and then a blushy face. Um, here is a girl that I drew while I was sitting eating Chick-fil-A. Um, I don't think she knew that I was drawing her, but I did draw her. Um, I think it looks really, I think she looks kind of old, but I thought the like thanks so then I, I kept drawing but 
zine means magazine, but it's just like a, a mini version of it. But so I, I used mint green, pink, and blue, and then pencil to write. So I was supposed to research zines and pick out ones that I liked and figure out what I wanted to do and everything. But then this was me working on my zine and what I was going to do. Um, so I have this picture of Alice Ball. I picked the topic um, women's suffrage and feminism. So of course I have this yellow rose to show um, that that you know they supported feminism. If you supported the the Nineteenth Amendment, you wore a yellow rose to the suffrage conventions, and if you didn't support it, you wore a red rose. So of course I have yellow rose, and it says votes for women. And here's Alice Paul, and then so I have some more sketches. This is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Cady Stanton from the National Women's Suffrage Association, and this is her. Protesters in front of the White House. It says, Mr. President, how long must women wait for liberty? But, yeah. And then this is the last page. Um, this is my one sketch of Lucy Burns. I did this in like a night, so none of this is good, but spent most time in jail for disrupting traffic with protesting President Harrison. And then this was a sketch for my drawing final. Um, my idea. So this project was to create texture out of, um, like using repeating patterns. So I went to use, to do this girl, and I was just gonna like fill up her face with these patches of texture and stuff, but still make it look like a girl. Um, so at the background I didn't end up doing it like that, but I think it looks pretty cool. I actually finished this then, like I have the final project of this worked up, I did it in Sharpie, in my giant pad of paper, but so that's it. That's all for my sketchbook. Um, I don't have that much in it, but I, this is like a whole semester's worth. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos of my art, or maybe like me drawing, maybe we can do a drawing and chatting, uh, something like that, just let me know. Um, of course, I'm an art major, so just let me know what you guys want to see, if you like this, if you want to see another one. I have more sketchbooks, of course, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, bye guys, bye guys, bye guys, bye guys.